So, a belated Happy New Year to you, Gemma, but we're two games into 2024. We've made a good start. How have you found it? Yeah, it's been really good. I think it's been the positive starts 2024 that we wanted. Um, we've had a long away trip up to Sunderland and still performed. And I think, you know, we've still got another level in us off the back of that. And same at Watford, I think, you know, we started a little bit slow maybe, but got into the game and got a positive result in the end. So, yeah, I think it's good momentum for us to build and we want to keep going and building on that in 2024. Yeah, we're coming up to six months since you joined us back in the summer. So looking back at your time so far, are you enjoying life on the South Coast? Yeah, I am. I really do enjoy, you know, being down here and being on the South Coast. It's a lovely place to live and, you know, a great club to play for. I think the people here have all made me feel really welcome and felt right at home straight away. So, yeah, it feels like I've been here forever now. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying every minute still. Yeah, it's the furthest south that you've been in your career, but you found it all right adapting on and off the pitch? Yeah, absolutely. I think, like I said, the people around me have really helped help that transition and, you know, the place is also a lovely place to live. So both of those together have made it an easy transition. And yeah, you've played almost every game as well for us so far, bar only a couple. So did that help the transition, I suppose, on the pitch as part of the team? Yeah, of course. I think, you know, it's been good to gel with the girls on the pitch and off the pitch. And I think I'm enjoying my football and enjoying helping the team move in the right direction. And that's all that I want to do, contribute and help the team where I can. So, yeah, it's been really positive to be a part of. And, yeah, I'm excited to see where this team can go. We're talking cup football this week with another Conti Cup test coming up on Thursday. But first, we have to look back at the other competition, the FA Cup. You scored the winner in your first South Coast derby. What was that experience like? Yeah, that was a great feeling, I think. You know, I wanted to prove to the fans that the derby meant something to me as well. Now I'm part of their club and thankfully I did that and, and scored the winner. But yeah, I was just happy to help the team get into the next round and, you know, give back to the fans because their support's fantastic. And as you mentioned, we then kicked off this calendar year with the win against Sunderland that set up a really big fifth round test for us. What was that experience like two weeks ago? Yeah, I think, you know, it was a it was a weekend away. It was a trip with the squad and I think it gave us a lot of time to bond again after Christmas and really just enjoy being with each other. You know, we had a real good laugh on the on the way up there and on the way back and I think you know that showed on the pitch the togetherness to get that result at the end and I thought it was a big squad performance and yeah we're going to keep pushing together. Yeah and it's set up like we said another WSL test including one we've got this week against Spurs so the fact we've already competed against WSL sides this season does that give you and the squad confidence going into Thursday? Yeah absolutely I think you know when we're playing in the league we know exactly what we want to do and so when you play in the cup I think you can play with a bit more freedom we've kind of got that underdog mentality I guess when you play in the WSL sides and I think that gives us a chance to express ourselves and test ourselves against that next level and where we want to be so yeah we're all really excited for that next test and we always go out to win games so hopefully we can do that. For yourself having had plenty of WSL experience in your career have you found that you might have had to pass on some words of wisdom to the rest of our younger squad? Yeah of course I mean I try to bring my experience when I step on the pitch no matter who we play and uh, I think hopefully I do that as well when we play the WSL sides but at the same time I think you know having that fresh mind and no experience of it's also good sometimes and just going into it and playing our game and focusing on us is really positive so I think we did that really well against Arsenal and hopefully we can do that again against Spurs. Yeah, and You've had plenty of matchups again with Spurs in your, in your time, what do you remember about the tests that they all bring? Spurs are always a quality side, you know they've got a lot of good technically gifted players, they move the ball quickly and they play possession orientated football so I think you know, we'll have to be patient in what we do, but I think there'll be gaps for us to exploit. And yeah, as long as we're, we turn up and play our game, I think we can definitely compete and get results. For us, there's also the chance that we could still qualify from the group, which would be the first time the club ever has in the Conti Cup. What experience that would be for us, for you and, and for the club? Yeah, definitely. You know, it'd be incredible for us to get out of the group and make history for the club. I think it just shows the direction the club's going in and the steps are making in the right direction. And we always want to win games. We always want to win tournaments. So we'll go out there and try and do that. And for yourself, in previous clubs, you know what it takes to go further in the competition. So, again, are you going to perhaps have to part some words of wisdom to the, the rest of the squad? Yeah, again, like, like I say, I'll just help where I can with the team and try and pass on those experiences. Having played in a Conti Cup final, you know, it was, a, it was a nice place to be and a good place to get. I didn't get that winner's medal, so it's still something that I want to achieve in my career. And if I could do that with Southampton, it'd be amazing. And regardless of the result, how important is it that we keep momentum wherever we can find it going into this second half of the season overall? Yeah, I think that's one of our key messages, you know, as a team from the staff is we've got to keep building momentum. We don't want the up and down that we have had previously. We want to be winning games consistently and getting results. So I think momentum is really important for us in this second half of the season and we'll be looking to go out and get a performance and a result in every game.